I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Day. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoyed the rest of this video. All right, what's up everyone? It is good to see every single one of you in another episode. Welcome to another video. In today's video, what I wanna talk about is very simply what ways or what things that you need to do to make sure that you become successful in this industry as a web developer. And this applies to whether you are already a developer in the industry or even to those who are still aspiring, those who are hustling, those who are grinding, whether you're in college, whether you're in boot camp, or whether you're actually teaching yourself how to code, <laughs> this applies to every single one of you. And I think this video, honestly, will be one of the most important videos that I ever make as a developer when it comes to aspiring other people like me you guys to make an industry because when it comes to becoming a software engineer a developer yes learning code is very important right being able to learn the right language is important because you have to learn what is popular like i'll tell you this man you do not want to learn flash right now ruby is in demand but not as much as it used to be jquery isn't the way to go when react js is demand all over the country if not the world so i mean those things are important but i think that even more than every single one of those things What's even more important than that is the fact that you need to be able to remain focused when learning code. That you need to be able to make sure that there's nothing distracting you from reaching your goal. Because I'll tell you this, that more than anything that you might face in the world, right? The biggest enemy is going to be yourself on whether you can stay focused in this journey or if you're going to give up. So what I want to talk about today is five ways on how you can make sure that you become a successful developer and get in the industry. I'm gonna talk about that right now. The first thing that you need to do to make sure that you become a successful developer, and I think this is very important, this is something that everyone has to be able to do, is number one, you have to separate your time away from everyone else. Like literally, if you have a regular schedule that you have to spend with your family, with your friends, maybe with your loved ones, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, even your dogs, my dogs, they're not that right now, that's why I'm filming. You need to be able to set a schedule, a time for yourself to separate from everyone else. And what I mean is that not time to like play video games. I mean, put your phone away, put your video games away, right? Make sure that the TV is not on, there's no distractions. If you're working on a Mac or a PC, make sure that everything, all the notifications are off so you don't get distracted by anything. This is very important because when it comes to learning code, you have to remain very focused. Honestly, I mean, this is something that I had to do myself. I remember in particular, what I would do is that, yes, I would study code during work, but after work, what I would do is that I would borrow my girlfriend's laptop, go to McDonald's, put earphones on because there's teenagers everywhere and learn code. And I would do that every single night for at least one to two hours. And on the weekends, right after fellowship with my friends at church, Every Saturday, I'd go to Boba Loca in La Palma, California, go there every Saturday, and I'd study on teamtreehouse.com for three hours every Saturday after church, like every time. And why is it so important? Because if you don't do this, I'm going to tell you, man, you will get nothing done. This is very important because I'm the type of person where I love to hang out with my friends, especially my girlfriend, right? Every Saturday afternoon, we'd go out and we'd probably watch a movie. But I had to make sure that, you know what, we, need to, we can't just watch a movie and hang out right now. I need to set time to learn code. I need to get that developer job. But you know what? You know what, babe? Later on in the evening, we can go watch a movie. We can get some Thai food. We can get some Bangkok Boulevard. Oh, man, that was so good. I miss California so much, man. We can do that. And I think that's really important because, like, 
Distractions are everywhere. And when it comes to reaching your goals and be successful, you have to be able to push distractions away. All right, guys, so this brings me to number two, and I think this will be a little controversial. It probably will, but I'm gonna say it anyway. As you probably heard this phrase in the past, that if you wanna know what kind of person that person is, look at who he hangs around with. Have you ever heard that phrase before? It's something like that, right? Like you are who you hang around. The reason that I am who I am today, I could genuinely say, I didn't have many friends growing up, that's true. I mean, I had quite a few best friends, but I wasn't the type of guy who had like 10, 20 friends. I only hung out with a particular few people, but I was very affected by the very few friends that I was around. That is the main reason that I can proudly say that I've never did drugs in my life. I've never smoked in my life, right? Now I've drank like maybe three times, but I've never been the kind of person like to go all crazy and get drunk and like, and honestly, man, I, I grew up in the ghetto, okay? I grew up in the ghetto where all my friends in middle school did drugs. I remember literally in middle school when I went to school in Daly City where my friends would try to hang out and like, hey, yo, Chris, we got some, I, I didn't know what drug it was, but we got this. And I'm like, nah, I'm okay. I just went ahead and played Nintendo 64. <laughs> but because of the people I was around with, my friends who didn't do that, I didn't do it either. The same thing applies to how on you making it into the industry, I would honestly say. This is what I did to actually make it. And this might make me look bad, but I don't care. When I started learning code, I told my friends, yo, we should learn code together, man. I, I watched this video of Bill Gates saying that anyone can learn code. And I'm like, dudes, if you learn code with me, we can push each other and we can become developers together, change our lives together. They weren't willing to do that. And these are the people that I would hang out every weekend, act honestly almost every single day. And there's a reason why I'm not as close with them anymore as I used to be, because rather than hang out with them, what did I do? I used that time to learn code instead. And it's not like I completely shut them out of my life, but rather than always hang out with my friends and doing any of that, I made it a goal to instead focus on code. But then what's really cool is that when I started learning code, I started making friends online who were learning code. And as I started posting Instagram on my normal Instagram, talking about learning code, then I'd have friends that hit me up like, yo, I'm learning code too. They're not friends I knew in real life, but people I knew through social media. And so because of these people that were pushing each other, I generally believe that's why I was able to learn code and get as far as I am today up to this very moment. I think it's really important that you have to recognize that the people you are with, are they going to slow you down or are they going to support you in reaching your goal? And if they're not gonna support you in doing something that you need to do to change your life, then sometimes you have to really think about it. either you need to cut them out of your life or you really need to lessen your time with them because yo, you are who you hang around with. Number three, man. The third thing that you have to make sure to do is that you need to stop looking at the short-term goals, but rather instead look at the long-term goals. This is really important and it's so important because I've seen so many people try to become developers, but I've seen a lot of people actually give up in trying to make it. And this is so sad. And I genuinely believe that the number one reason why so many people fail in becoming developers or give what I mean is like giving up and not continuing on in this journey to make it to the industry is because so many people look at the short term rather than the long term. When you are learning code to become a dev, like, yeah, I became a developer in three months. That's not normal. I know someone who became a developer in a couple days. I know people who became a developer in a year. But realistically speaking, it will take a long time to get into the industry. It could take one year, two years. It might even take three years. But I mean, there are people who have to go to college for four, five, six years before they even become an engineer in this industry. So like, yes, it might take you one or two years to do it, but yo, isn't that fine since you don't have to go to college and go into debt to become a developer? But I think people get so focused on like, yo, I want, this needs to happen in six months or I wanna give up. Man, it's been a year since I've been learning code. Man, I've been in a hundred interviews and no one's even hiring me. Yo, that is completely normal, but you need to look at the long term. Think of it, rather looking at that, thinking of it this way. Man, I haven't gotten a job yet, it's been a year, but you know what, if I keep going in six months, I'll get the next job. So because I didn't get it in a year, what do I need to do differently within the next six months to get it in a job in a year and a half? Like what other products should I do? What other things should, do I need, need to? Do I need to go to more meetups? Do I need to network? Whatever, whatever this is. So when you're looking at the long term, you see things completely different. You see things at a better perspective and you see things more clearly. But if you're looking at short term goals, you don't see what other things that you need to do to make it or any maybe opportunities you might miss. So when it comes to becoming a successful developer, it's really important that again, you look at the long-term goals, man. When I started learning code, 
I didn't look at it as if, yo, in one year, my life would change like crazy. Because even when I was a developer my first year, yo, I wanted to give up because it was really hard and I sucked at it. The main reason I kept going was because, man, four years, five years down the line, I'm gonna make more money than I ever thought I could. I'll be able to support my family more than I ever thought that I could if I keep going. So I didn't just look what's in front of me. You can always see what's in front of me, but now you need to learn how to look at things that are not in front of you. Look at things that you cannot see. That's what will keep you going. The fourth tip and what you need to be able to do in order to become a successful developer. Now, just like the other topic, I think this one will be controversial, but honestly, man, the reason I'm able to say this is because I have done this myself and I can generally attest to this that this is the reason why I was able to do what I do. To get to where I am today is because I did this very thing, is that you need to be able to take out distractions. Silly distractions, man. Now, number one, <laughs> whether you're a girl, boy, woman, or man, whatever it is, man, honestly, what I did for three years was that I completely took away gaming out of my life, video games out. Like, I had to sacrifice that because to be quite honest, I love video games more than anything. And because I love video games more than anything, whether I was coding, whether I was driving, whether I was taking a shower, whether if I was taking a dump, what would I always be thinking of is how to get better at Apex Legends, how to get better at Counter-Strike, how to get better at all these different things in order to become a better at that particular game, right? Honestly, if you want to be able to focus well in making sure that you can make it in this industry, you have to be able to throw away video games. I mean, unless you're way better than me and limiting yourself to like 30 minutes or an hour a day, I'm not able to do that. I love gaming too much, so what I literally had to do was give my video games away. Now, when I was playing World of Warcraft, what I literally had to do on that computer was delete my characters, my tunes. Well, it was so freaking hard because I put in freaking thousand hours into that character, right? Those are the things I had to do. Other things I had to do. If TV's your thing, get that TV away. Or cancel your internet subscription, or not internet subscription, like your TV subscription. Well, I say internet because I use YouTube TV. Cancel that. You have to be able to take out any distractions that you know that will potentially stop you from actually reaching your goals. I mean, honestly, when you really think about it, what successful person today did not have to sacrifice something in order to make it? What person? Like, I can't think of one person. Everyone has to be able to do something that they're not comfortable with in order to make it with that today. And what makes you the exception? Why is it that you don't have to do these things? I gave up gaming. I gave up time with friends. I gave up time with family. I lost friends. I gave up like so many things that I, I can't say honestly, just so I can make it to where I am today. What makes you the exception that you don't have to do that? And so what I'm trying to say is that there are distractions that every single one of us have to be able to take out of our life to make sure we can do it. I mean, if you're not willing to do that, and I'm telling you this, it's gonna be harder. And if, you, if it's been a year, year and a half, and if you're not a developer yet, if you haven't made the industry yet, what is the reason? What distractions, what things have you not taken out of your life that have prevented you from becoming better? Or what things that are preventing you from doing it that you don't even realize? You have to really think about that. But anyway, man, that is really honestly how I made it today and how a lot of people have made it in any industry, in any business today, is that doing these four things, man. And I really hope like this video will help you, encourage you, and help you realize what it is that you need to do to stop, that might stop you from making it. And if there's anything that comes to mind, please put in the comment section below. Let other people see it. Let them know what distraction you're taking in life. If there's any other tips you recommend, please let me know. I read every single comment on every single video. So anyways, love you all. Thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan, this is the Life Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace.